but I want to show you guys when you're buying something because you don't see this too often on videos of people buying something of a specific name brand and seeing the actual components taken apart I mean this is that's heavy that is that is really super well insulated Okay, welcome back to the channel. As you all know that I have a working relationship with Max Peening Rods and they've supplied some of the parts for this Camaro build and they wanted to also feature some of their newer items or what they're producing now. And this is one of their items that they actually had for a while. It's their, it's like the terminology, right? This is, and we're gonna use this for one of the projects. Uh, it's their small block Chevy compatible mini high torque starter. It's a claimed a three horsepower uh, high torque starter compatible with 153 tooth and 168 tooth flywheels for small block Chevy. So that goes from everywhere from the 302 all the way to the 400. And depending on the flywheel that you have and the, um, the, the amount of teeth, this is fully adjustable to work with either one of the applications. So it's universal, which is fantastic. Um, some of the key features of these starters is i mean just from the outlook it's the quality is super cool super super nice it looks really good the machine work um a far cry from a lot of the stuff that was out there years ago it comes with all the supplied shims that means to shim it from the block up and down also on the starter side is to shim it back or for you know back and forth so to depending on your setup which is super cool super easy to do there's a is a, a bunch of videos of how to do that um, but i just want to go over some of the key things for these particular starters and it actually comes with bolts too but as i've been explained to you everyone before is that these this is the company who makes this starter there's so many of these starters that look identical that are knockoffs but these come from max peening rods so shameless plug there will be description down below where you can buy it you know you get a, a percentage off it doesn't really help me out but it just saves you a few dollars off of these starters and it's us stocked also so you can get them in the lower 48 states no problem shipping and handling all that kind of good stuff but it's it's a standard type of setup here fully adjustable and i have asked them not to send me just one but two and the reasoning for that is to show what's inside of these starters so i'm going to take apart one of these starters and if i can get it back together again i'll give it away to a subscriber or i'll keep it for another project or whatever if somebody shows interest whatever but again we're going to go ahead and take this apart see what the insides of this show you a little bit of the features you know also you know like anything else you can fully clock these starters and i'll show that in the next portion of this video this can be unlocked and the, and the whole starter can be clocked a different way okay let's get into it okay i've never taken apart one of these starters so i'm just going to start with the basics of this setup let's just loosen this part up over here and show you let me see if i got the right key nice bolt nice threading allen head i mean quality looks really good on this side of the table here i mean i don't see any strange funky stuff here Okay, so just to show you, which is really nice, I just want to point out a couple of things here. Nice bolts, nice machine work. Okay, see it on the plate, which is super cool. This comes apart. It's actually well greased over here. Look at this, really nice. The schmooze test doesn't smell funky. Good, high quality, um, high heat grease. The machine work in here, if we can see that, really nice. But with the nice thing about, oh yeah fully rollerized bearing here 
see that? That rides on this. But the one thing I like about these mini type of start these mini type of starters is the fully adjustable for headers, for different applications. You can set them just right so they don't make that weird cranking noise, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, loosen a couple of bolts and you're able to clock this in many different directions to your application. So this is fantastic. You get this sawing it, sawing it out of the heat area, or you want that extra clearance for, you know, again, headers, whatever it is, get away from the block. It's great. All right. So we get that laid out here. Bolts feel really nice, really well machined which this day and age, you know, we should come to expect this from manufacturers. Let's see how far we can break down this starter. See what's inside of it. If I can, I don't know. This doesn't look like, let's just start with, I want to point out too, a high quality wire here, as far as the way it's crimped and set up on here. And it's soldered onto the connector also at the same time, which is nice for vibrations, long-term. Nice setup, super nice thick wiring, and it's soldered onto the crimp setup here so it can't vibrate loose. Insulator on the wiring, doesn't feel, I don't know plastics that well or rubber, but it doesn't have that cheap feel to it and that crinkly, it's nice and thick, well insulated. All right, let's move on to this. And again, I am no expert on starters here. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just unbolting stuff and showing you what these things are made out of. And again, thank you, Max Peening Rides. Um, they allowed me, there's no restrictions of what I can, cannot say about their products. And that's why they sent me both starters here just saying, hey, do what you gotta do. Tell us what you think. And again, these are made by Max Peening Rides. These are not relabeled, rebranded, or anything like that. And again, 99% of the stuff that you see out there are gonna be made by Max Peening Rods that other people rebrand, you know, they play the rebrand, the rebrand game, at least with Max Peening Rods. If you have a problem, you can return it. There's a warranty on there. There's a company to go back to on this. Super fast shipping, good quality bolts again. Let's see what is inside here. Right, Cause I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, so this is a sealed giant solenoid in here. All right, so let's see if I can. <laughs> Sorry people, me don't know how to do this, but I am just looking, uh, there you go, alright, well, let's just start, start taking shit apart. Okay, here we go, <laughs> and the whole process this thing fell out, whatever. Super heavy duty, look at that, actually a lot, well insulated solenoid, look at that. Super heavy duty. Um, I'm actually uh, quite surprised of the machine work and I'm hoping that comes through in the video. Machine work looks really good and yeah. Hmm. Cool. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I should have picked a better wrench. I'm sorry. Wow, that's super high quality. Look at this. Got a roller bearing on this side here. You know, obviously the reduction gear. Oh. You got the marks here for balancing the shaft so you don't have any weird vibrations, which is typical for any good electric motor. The windings look fantastic. Sure hope this is coming through. But yeah, copper setup over here of where the, the armatures or whatever you call the the, the the brush hits this area. Also, I want to show you too, is look at the insulation, the winding insulation in here, protected from heat and everything. Look at that. Wow. I mean, it's got some weight to it. Let me see if they're spring-loaded in here. Yeah, they're all spring-loaded. I don't know if we can get that apart. Can it come apart? Oh yeah, there you go. Look at the wiring down on it. Really good machine work. I mean, for a hundred buck, that is crazy. I mean, this is no joke. I was expecting, sorry, Max Peening Rods, but I was expecting a lot less 
quality than what I am seeing here. This is top rate stuff here. Heavy duty wiring. I mean, even the spring action, look at that. It's definitely a high performance piece. Super smooth bearing setup on here. Just wanna show you the quality of the casting and hope that we can get this back together to send out to a lucky subscriber or to use this in another project. Cause again, we have two of these to use. But I want to show you guys when you're buying something, cause you don't see this too often on videos of people buying something of a specific name brand and seeing the actual components taken apart. I mean, this is, that's heavy. That is, that is really super well insulated. This is not gonna get heat soaked. Nice job, Max Ping Rods. Really super nice job. So once again, this is what it looks like together. <laughs> and this is what it looks like apart. I mean, even the machine work of this, look at the details of the indentations. You don't see any tool marks. Um, whether this was a cast piece and then they, well, I mean, I don't know, but, but nice chrome setup, not that cheap plated shit done all the way through. Solenoid, super hardcore. And look at the size of that. No joke. Super quality, super high quality. Again, comes with all your shims, bolts, everything. Yeah, what do you guys think? Like it, really do. I am pleasantly surprised that I can give a nice and positive review on this. All right, go pick up one from Max Painting Rods. Use my coupon code, show me some love, put some things in the comments, you know, what do you guys think about this? Cause I'm, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised for a hundred dollar starter. This is cheaper than most of the crap that you can get from like AutoZone or any other place. Um, and <laughs> this is a no brainer to me. This is a no brainer to get one of these instead of a factory starter or even some of those high priced mini starters that you see out in the market when you are getting, you know, I sound like a broken record, but you sound, you're getting a good quality product for half the freaking price. I don't know how they do it. Whatever it is that, that, you know, whatever, but yeah, have a nice day. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe, click that bell. You know what to do. Put some information down at the bottom and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.